Ezekiel, chapters 30 through 32. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy, and say, Thus saith the Lord, Woe, woe worth the day, for the day of the Lord is nigh, a day of cloud. It shall be the end of the nations. And a sword shall come upon the Egyptians, and there shall be tumult in Ethiopia, and in Egypt men shall fall down slain together, and her foundation shall fall. Persians, and Cretans, and Lydians, and Libyans, and all the mixed multitude, and they of the children of my covenant, shall fall by the sword therein. And the supports of Egypt shall fall, and the pride of her strength shall come down from Magdal to Syene. They shall fall by the sword in it, saith the Lord. And it shall be made desolate in the midst of desolate countries, and their city shall be desolate in the midst of desolate cities. And they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall send fire upon Egypt, and when all that help her shall be broken. And that day shall messengers go forth, hasting to destroy Ethiopia utterly. And there shall be tumult among them in the day of Egypt. For behold, it comes. Thus saith the Lord God, I will also destroy the multitude of the Egyptians by the hand of Nabuchodonosor, king of Babylon. His hand and his peoples, they are plagues sent forth from the nations to destroy the land. And they all shall unsheath their swords against Egypt, and the land shall be filled with slain. And I will make the rivers desolate, and it will destroy the land and the fullness of it by the hands of strangers. I, the Lord, have spoken. For thus saith the Lord God, I will also destroy the nobles from Memphis, and the princes of Memphis out of the land of Egypt. And they shall be no more. And I will destroy the land of Fathori, and I will send fire upon Tanis, and I will execute vengeance on the Diospolis. And I will pour out my wrath upon Sais, the strength of Egypt, and I will destroy the multitude of Memphis. And I will send fire upon Egypt, and Syene shall be sorely troubled. And there shall be a breaking in Diospolis, and water shall be poured out. The use of Heliopolis and Bubastum shall fall by the sword, and the women shall go into captivity. And the day shall be darkened in Taphne, when I have broken there the scepters of Egypt, and the pride of her strength shall perish there, and a cloud shall cover her, and her daughters shall be taken prisoners. And I will execute judgment on Egypt, and they shall know that I am the Lord. It came to pass the eleventh year, in the first month, on the seventh day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, I have broken the arms of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and behold, it has not been bound up to be healed, to have the plaster put upon it, or to be strengthened to lay hold of the sword. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and I will break his strong and outstretched arms, and I will smite down his sword out of his hand, and I will disperse the Egyptians among the nations, and will utterly scatter them among the countries. And I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, and put my sword into his hand. He shall bring it upon Egypt, and shall take her plunder, and seize her spoils. Yea, I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, and the arms of Pharaoh shall fail. And they shall know that I am the Lord, when I have put my sword into the hands of the king of Babylon, and he shall stretch it out over the land of Egypt. And I will disperse the Egyptians among the nations, and utterly scatter them among the countries, and they all shall know that I am the Lord. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the third month, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, say to Pharaoh king of Egypt, and to his multitude, To whom hast thou compared thyself in thy haughtiness? Behold, the Assyrian was a cypress in Libanus, and was fair in shoots, and high in stature. His top reached to the midst of the clouds. The water nourished him. The death made him grow tall. She let her rivers run about his plants, and she sent forth her streams to all the trees of the field. Therefore was his stature exalted above all the trees of the field, and his branches spread far by the help of much water. All the birds of the sky made their nests in his boughs, and under his branches all the wild beasts of the field bred. The whole multitude of nations dwelt under his shadow. And he was fair in his height by reason of the multitude of his branches, for his roots were amidst much water. And such cypresses as this were in the paradise of God. There were no pines like his shoots, and there were no firs like his branches. No tree in the paradise of God was like him in his beauty. Because of the multitude of his branches, and the trees of God's paradise of delight envied him. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Because thou art grown great, and hast set thy top in the midst of the clouds, and I saw it when he was exalted, Therefore I delivered him into the hands of the prince of the nations, and he wrought his destruction. And ravaging strangers from the nations have destroyed him, and have cast him down upon the mountains. His branches fell in all the valleys, and his boughs were broken in every field of the land. 
and all the people of the nations are gone down from their shelter, and have laid him low. All the birds of the sky have settled on his fallen trunk, and all the wild beasts of the field came upon his boughs, in order that none of the trees by the water should exalt themselves by reason of their size, whereas they set their top in the midst of the clouds, yet they continued not in their high state in their place. All that drank water, all were consigned to death, to the depth of the earth, in the midst of the children of men, with them that go down to the pit. Thus saith the Lord God, In the day wherein he went down to Hades, the deep mourned for him, and I stayed her floods, and restrained her abundance of water, and Libanus saddened for him. All the trees of the field fainted for him. At the sound of his fall the nations quaked, when I brought him down to Hades with them that go down to the pit. And all the trees of delight comforted him in the heart, and the choice plants of Libanus, all that drink water. For they went down to hell with him among the slain with the sword, and his seed, even they that dwelt under his shadow, perished in the midst of their life. To whom art thou compared? Descend, and be thou abased with the trees of paradise to the depth of the earth. Thou shalt lie in the midst of the uncircumcised with them that are slain by the sword. Thus shall Pharaoh be, and the multitude of his host, saith the Lord God. And it came to pass in the twelfth year, in the tenth month, on the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and say to him, Thou art become like a lion of the nations, and as a serpent that is in the sea, and thou didst make assaults with thy rivers, and didst disturb the water with thy feet, and didst trample thy rivers. Thus saith the Lord, I will also cast over thee the nets of many nations, I will bring thee up with my hook, and I will stretch thee upon the earth. The field shall be covered with thee, and I will cause all the birds of the sky to settle upon thee, and I will fill with thee all the wild beasts of the earth. And I will cast thy flesh upon the mountains, and will saturate them with thy blood. And the land shall be drenched with thy dung, because of thy multitude upon the mountains. I will fill the valleys with thee, and I will veil the heavens when thou art extinguished, and will darken the stars thereof. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light. All the bodies that give light in the sky shall be darkened over thee, and I shall bring darkness upon the earth, saith the Lord God. And I will provoke to anger the heart of many people, when I lead thee captive among the nations, to a land which thou hast not known. And many nations shall mourn over thee, and their king shall be utterly amazed, when my sword flies in their faces, as they wait for their own fall from the day of thy fall. For thus saith the Lord God, The sword of the king of Babylon shall come upon thee, with the swords of mighty men, and I will cast down thy strength. They are destroying ones from the nations, and they shall destroy the pride of Egypt, and all her strength shall be crushed. And I will destroy all her cattle from beside the great water, and the foot of man shall not trouble it any more, and the step of cattle shall no more trample it. Thus shall our waters then be at rest, and the river shall flow like oil, saith the Lord. When I shall give up Egypt to destruction, and the land shall be made desolate with the fullness thereof, when I shall scatter all that dwell in it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. And there is a lamentation, and thou shalt utter it, and the daughters of the nation shall utter it, even for Egypt, and they shall mourn for it over all the strength thereof, saith the Lord God. And it came to pass in the twelfth year, in the first month, on the fifteenth day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, lament over the strength of Egypt, for the nation shall bring down her daughters dead to the depth of the earth, to them that go down to the pit. They shall fall with him in the midst of them that are slain with the sword, and all his strength shall perish. The giants also shall say to thee, Be thou in the depth of the pit, to whom art thou superior? Yea, go down and lie with the uncircumcised, in the midst of them that are slain with the sword. There are Asur and all his company. All his slain have been laid there, and their burial is in the depth of the pit, and his company are set round about his tomb. All the slain that fell by the sword, who had caused the fear of them to be upon the land of the living. There is Elam and all his host round about his tomb. All the slain that fell by the sword, and the uncircumcised to go down to the deep of the earth, who caused their fear to be upon the land of the living. And they have received their punishment with them that go down to the pit, in the midst of the slain. There were laid Mosach and Thobal, and all his strength round about his tomb, all his slain men, all the uncircumcised, slain with the sword, who caused their fear to be in the land of the living. And they are laid with the giants that fell of old, who went down to Hades with their weapons of war. And they laid their swords under their heads, but their iniquities were upon their bones, because they terrified all men during their life. And thou shalt lie in the midst of the uncircumcised, with them that have been slain by the sword. There are laid the princes of Asur, who yielded their strength to a wound of the sword. These are laid with the slain, 
with them that go down to the pit. There are the princes of the north, even all the captains of Asur, who go down slain to Hades. They lie uncircumcised among the slain, with the sword together with their terror and their strength, and they have received their punishment with them that go down to the pit. King Pharaoh shall see them, and shall be comforted over all their force, saith the Lord God. For I have caused his fear to be upon the land of the living. Yet he shall lie in this to the uncircumcised with them that are slain with the sword, even Pharaoh, and all his multitude with him, saith the Lord God. The Revelation of St. John the Theologian, Chapter 7 And after these things I saw four angels standing in the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And they heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Aser were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Manasses were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed twelve thousand. The tribe of Issachar were sealed twelve thousand. The tribe of Zebulon were sealed twelve thousand. The tribe of Joseph were sealed twelve thousand. The tribe of Benjamin were sealed twelve thousand. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all the nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne, before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might, be unto our God for ever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, Thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple, and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst they any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes.